His eyes, ever steady, offered not just admiration but a genuine understanding. That was rare in the political quagmire of the Tudor court. Our paths meandered through our public duties and the private sanctums of our confidences, nurturing an unspoken bond that whispered through the corridors of power. But Robert and I tread a careful dance between affection and duty, always mindful of the delicate balance of royal responsibilities and the heart's tender yearnings. Though many suspected our alliance veered towards matrimonial aspirations, the crown allowed me no luxury of personal indulgence, so I remained England's virgin queen. Robert, my steadfast eyes, held a chamber in my heart, yet we were bound by our loyalties and destined to saunter side by side through a history that would forever speculate on a love that dared not speak its name.